Let's have another example for synthetic division. Let's have 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x plus 7 divided by x minus 2. Let's see how this is different from the first example that we had. So same thing, you're going to be getting all the numerical values of this polynomial. So we'll have 2, negative 5 for this one, 3, and 7. Now remember that your divisor always takes the form x plus c. So itetake lang natin yung c, kaya hindi natin kinukuha ng negative 2. Ginagamit natin, parang binabaliktad natin yung sign. So if it's negative, ginagawa natin siyang positive. And then again, we place it in a window here. And then you proceed with the process, katulad ng ginawa natin sa first example, you bring down 2, so you have 2 there, and then we multiply and add. So multiply 2 times 2, you get 4. And then add negative 4 plus 5, you'll have negative 1. Negative 1 times 2, magiging negative 2. And then i-add ulit, 3 minus 2, you'll get positive 1. And then 1 times 2, you'll get 2. When you add 7 plus 2, you'll have a 9. So notice, hindi na 0 yung dulo. So anong ibig sabihin yan? Yung polynomial natin, yung mga variables sa polynomial, babawasan natin ang exponent. So this is x cubed, this will take x squared. Ito ay x squared, so magiging x na lang ito. Ito yung para sa constant natin, ano ibig sabihin ng 9? The 9 here will serve as your remainder. Therefore, when we write our answer, it's gonna be 2x squared. Then this is negative 1x or negative x. This is plus 1. And then you have a remainder of positive 9 plus 1, and then positive 9. But then, you have to make sure to divide it by our divisor, which is x minus 2. So this whole thing will be our quotient.